Today I'm going to show you guys how to black out the back of your aquarium. What's going on guys? Devin with Reef Dudes. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell. And today I'm going to show you guys how to black out the back of your aquarium. So I just got my new tank and eventually it's going to be a peninsula. For now it's going to be against the wall, so I decided to black it out. I've seen people do it with like different things like window tint, or they've used just construction paper, different things. But honestly, the best way to do it is with vinyl. Now vinyl is fairly inexpensive. I think it costs about $20 for enough to do the back. And it's going to be that nice, perfect kind of look that you'd have in like a red sea tank or some of those other kind of premium model tanks. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do, we want to make sure the back of the glass is clean very well. And to do that, we're going to take a spray bottle. Uh, ideally, the pressure ones are way easier. You can do it the ch -ch -ch ones, but it's a little more work to do it that way. Just because you gotta keep doing it. This one, you just hold the button down, you got a constant flow. And this is hot water with just a couple drops of soap. Um, baby shampoo is the best one to use. And if you don't have that, you can use regular dish soap. Just use a drop or two. And the one other thing we're gonna need is a squeegee. Now, if you have an oversized piece, you can put it on and then just use a razor blade and trim the edges afterwards. If you go to a sign shop or somewhere and they cut it for you, you can get them to cut to the exact dimensions. You don't even have to trim afterwards. So one of the reasons that we're using a, a couple drops of baby shampoo, this is kind of like the wet application method. And it gives us a little bit of wiggle room to get things perfect before we fully stick it to it. So squeegee, spray bottle, a couple drops of soap and some vinyl. So we're gonna pump it up, get some pressure. And I'm just gonna start by squeegeeing the glass to make sure it's nice and clean. Oh, don't forget towels, lots of towels on the floor. And I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure. Since the tank is new, make sure there's no more particles on it. Now, a squeegee is better than paper towel because if you use paper towel, the odds are you're going to get little specks of dust in it. And any little dust or particles is going to show up as a little bump or a little air bubble in your vinyl. And that's no fun. So once your glass is all clean, a couple more pumps, make sure it's full, and we're just going to spray the glass again. take the tape off the edge of our vinyl and we're gonna do what's called the wet method so we're gonna spray the vinyl as well this will give us that little bit of wiggle room just gonna start peeling it and we start peeling it give it a little bit of spray this will help that your fingers won't stick to it get the rest peeled And once you have your first edge about perfect, give it a little shot of water. And I'm just going to hit it with the squeegee. And this is going to help set it and stick it to the glass as we peel the rest of it. Go along the edge, make sure all our seams look good. Uh, especially pay attention to that top edge. Um, the other ones are, have a little bit of wiggle room. They're not as, you don't have to worry about those as much. I'm gonna shoot the whole thing again with water. And if there's any bits of kind of bubbles in it, just peel it back, shoot it with water, so it gives it a bit of wiggle room. And we can shift it around until all those little edges are gone. Okay, so no big bubbles, a couple little tiny fingers. We can just kind of push those out. Shoot it one more time with water. 
And now we're gonna squeegee it out. So if we do a strip along the top, it's gonna set our vinyl. Push down the middle. And we're just gonna work out all those bubbles in that water. That's gonna help it adhere to the glass. So when you're doing this, you wanna use quite a bit of pressure and make sure you quickly wipe up any water that you may have spilt on the floor during this process. We're definitely spraying a lot around and it does find a way pretty much everywhere. Okay, so we got our floor wiped up. Now, if there's any little edge that potentially your vinyl is too big, you can just go right along the edge of it with a razor blade and run along the edge of the glass and just cut off that little extra strip. One other tip, if there is any little water bubbles or spots in it, you can take a credit card and a piece of paper towel and fold it over and just go and just push those little bits of water over the edges. The whole point of the paper towel is one, it's not gonna scratch, and two, if there's any bits of moisture in there, it's gonna soak it up so it doesn't get sucked back into the vinyl. So blacking out the back of your tank really isn't that hard at all to do. We did that pretty quick and easy. It was pretty inexpensive. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something. Don't be afraid to do it. It's a really easy project and gives it a really nice, classy, crisp look. I'll link all the stuff I use in the description below. If you guys have any questions, let me in the comments. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.